Hello everyone, and welcome to another video tutorial for Lightarama S5. In today's video, we'll be talking about finding and setting unit IDs for your 16 channel controllers in the Lightarama hardware utility. In order to use your computer to control your lights, you first have to make sure the computer knows that your controller exists. To connect your controller to your computer, plug your USB 485 adapter from Lightarama into a USB port on your computer, then plug a CAT5 line into the other end of the adapter and connect it to your first AC channel controller. If you have never connected a controller to the computer before, make sure you connect it on its own first so that you can set its unit ID. Once the controller is connected to your computer, make sure all other Lightarama programs are closed before you open the hardware utility. Only one program can talk to the controllers at once. If you haven't set up your COM port before, the first thing you'll do is press Auto Configure in the upper left so that your computer can determine where you plugged in your adapter. Once your COM port is established, you'll press Refresh in the top middle section of the hardware utility to tell the computer to search for all of the controllers on that network. But before you hit Refresh, take a look at what number is over here in Max Unit ID. The hardware utility defaults to looking for unit ID F0 as the highest ID to search for, meaning that it's looking for 240 possible units every time you hit refresh if you leave it at the default. If you know you only have a few units connected, you can lower the max unit ID to cut down on your search time. On the flip side, as your display grows, if your computer ever can't find a controller, make sure the max unit ID isn't set below your highest number. Hit refresh and your computer will search for your controller. Once it's found, the status light in the controller should be solid. By default, every 16 channel controller is assigned the unit ID number 01. If you're unfamiliar with the term unit ID as it relates to light shows, for an AC channel controller, the box itself is assigned a unit ID and each plug coming off of the box is a channel. When finding smart pixel controllers, which we will not discuss in this video, the control board itself does not have a number at all. Instead, each strand of smart pixels is assigned a unit ID, and the lights on each strand are the associated channels. To change the unit ID number of a controller, you'll come down here on the lower left of the hardware utility. Select the old number of the controller, which you can see up here at the top, then choose the new number. Click Change Unit ID when you're finished. To test the lights using the hardware utility, you'll use the middle section. If you have more than one controller connected, you could use this drop-down to switch between the controllers you want to test. The checkboxes in this section represent the channels that you're going to test. If you need to check channels individually, select None, then turn channels back on as you need them. You can perform simple tests like turning the lights on at their maximum value or having them fade up from 0 to 100%. You can also switch the light mode between Steady, Shimmer, and Twinkle. When you're done testing, Click Lights Off down here in the lower right, then make sure to exit the hardware utility before opening up any other program in the Lightarama suite. And that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a notification about new videos.